Welcome to Mrs. Thomas's Common Core Math Videos. This is lesson number one, adding positive and negative numbers using tiles. So with the Common Core, we are trying to get away from memorizing rules and steps and gain a deeper understanding of how the math actually works. And one way to do that is with modeling. And today we're gonna model positive and negative numbers using tiles. At the beginning of the video, there was a link to a PDF where you can print out your own tiles. They print out like this, you cut them out, and then you glue them back to back. So you get little squares that are red on one side and yellow on the other side. And these are gonna represent the quantity of one for us. The yellow side is positive one, and on the opposite side is the opposite sign, the opposite value, negative one. So if I had a number like two, to represent that number, since it's a positive number, I would need two positive ones. And let's say I wanted to combine or add that to five, I would need five positive ones. So I would break out five yellow tiles. One, two, three, four, five. All right, and to add them together, we're just combining them. We're taking the two, we're combining it with the five, and we're figuring out what we have all together which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hopefully you already knew that. Okay, so when they're all positive, it's very straightforward. It gets more confusing when we bring in negative numbers. So let's do that now. All right, so what if we had something like negative three plus five? To represent a negative, we're gonna need the red side. We're gonna flip them over. And since it's a negative three, we need three negative ones, negative one, two, three. So those three negative ones together represent the value negative three. Negatives, you should be thinking in your mind, a loss or something you owe. Um, positives, what you have. So uh, to represent a positive five, I'm gonna need five yellow tiles. Those are my positives. All right, and again, adding is just combining. I'm bringing them together. But I don't have eight. The reason I don't have eight is because some of these are positive and some of these are negative. If you have a dollar and you owe a dollar, altogether you've got nothing. If you have one and you lose one, altogether nothing. So every time a positive tile and a negative tile come together, they eliminate each other. They become nothing and we just take them right off the board. All right, so I have another pair, one positive, one negative. Together, they eliminate each other, they're nothing. Another one, one positive, one negative. Together, they eliminate each other, they're nothing. I'm left with just positives. So that is my answer, positive two, right? All right, let's do another one. What if they're both negative? Like negative one plus negative five. So I'm gonna use the red side of my tiles uh, a negative one, I just need one tile. A negative five, I'm gonna need five. Whoops, all negative. One, two, three, four, five. Negative one plus negative five, again, that plus means combine. So we're gonna bring them all together. I don't have any yellow tiles, they're all red. So I just need to total up. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six negative tiles. So my answer is negative six. Getting the idea of this? Hopefully, um, it's starting to click with you. So what I'd like to do next is I'm going to put out some problems. Let's try negative 4 plus 2. I'd like you to pause the video right now, give this a try on your own with your own tiles, and then um, when you're done, play and see how I answered it and see if you got the right answer. Okay, so as you can see, I used four negative tiles for negative four. I used two positive tiles for positive two. That plus tells me that I'm combining everything together, um, but I've got negatives and positives. So every time I got a positive with a negative, they add up to zero. Since I'm left with red tiles, my answer is a negative answer, negative two. How'd you do? Ready to do another one? All right, so our next one is gonna be uh, negative four plus negative three. Go ahead and pause the video, give it a try. 
All right, how did you do? Uh, negative four, four negative ones, negative three, three negative ones, all together, seven negative ones. Since it's all negative, your answer is negative seven. All right, one more. All right, here's another problem I'd like you to try with the algebra tiles. Negative seven plus two. All right, did you come up with seven negative tiles? and two positive tiles. Uh, we combine them because we're adding. Uh, each one of these positive tiles is gonna eliminate one of the negatives, but my answer is gonna be negative because I started with more red tiles than yellow. Um, I have two less because the two yellow tiles took away two of the red tiles. So my answer is negative five. How'd you do? All right, give this one a try. Negative 25 plus 30. Did anybody count out 25 negative tiles here? Ridiculous. I don't even think I have that many. We don't have time for that. So algebra tiles doesn't work with everything. But that's okay, because even if I don't have time to count out 25 red tiles and 30 yellow tiles, I can imagine them. Can you see them in your mind's eye? 25 red tiles, 30 yellow tiles, um, these 25 red tiles are going to eliminate 25 of these yellow tiles. Do you see that? When I bring them together one at a time, 25 of these will be taken away. Can you see that my answer is going to be a positive number because I had more yellow tiles than red tiles? In fact, it's going to be positive 5 because 30 is 5 more than 25. Get the idea? So, once you've gotten good at using the algebra tiles, I want you to get good at imagining the algebra tiles so you don't actually have to have them with you all the time. Give it a try. All right, again, too big to use the tiles for. Instead, I'm going to imagine 30 red tiles here and 17 yellow tiles. Um, I'm going to take 17 red tiles away to cancel out these 17 yellow tiles. Um, but I'm going to have more red tiles left because I started more with more of them. So that means my answer is going to be negative. This is a little mental math here. The way I would do this one is to say, well, 15 and 15 is 30. But I'm taking 17 away from this 30, so it's going to be 2 less than 15. So negative 13. All right, thank you so much for watching the video. I hope it helped. If you would like to try using the tiles to subtract integer problems a little bit trickier, um, please watch my next video, Lesson 2.